dear friends uh, this is venget here from bizarts uh, welcome to our uh, let's learn it short and simple session uh, that's a series we are running uh, in the areas of agile and scrum and today uh, we are going to learn a very interesting you know uh, and very you know uh, very popular topic which most of you would want more clarity that's how to do estimation in agile uh, so let's get into the session okay guys so how we do estimation in scrum if you uh, you know uh, recall the in the traditional project management uh, we all know that always size based estimation gives us a very accurate estimation compared to other you know expert judgment or using uh, analogous or kokomo model always size based estimate gives us a accurate estimate and in traditional uh, project management you know we use size based estimates like kilo lines of code function points feature points etc uh, but the problem with those method is we will know the size only after we implemented the code so it is no longer a estimation it is actually the act, you know actual data but in agile we use a technique in scrum especially we use a technique called relative size estimate and what is relative size estimate imagine uh, this is a tall building with so many floors and uh, we don't know the number of floors and height of each floor but we know this is a tall building with so many floors if i ask you to estimate what is the height of this building it's going to be very difficult so because a uh, lot of informations are missing right so it's very difficult now if there is a reference there is another building which is near to that and again it's again a you know a tall building with so many floors but here also i don't know the number of floors and height of each floor but if i know the height of this particular building then using that as a reference we can able to estimate the height of this tall building for example imagine the height of this particular building is 300 meters now if this building is 300 meters we use this as a reference and this building is two times taller than that we can able to tell this building is approximately 600 meters and this is called relative size estimate and how we do that actually in uh, scrum is we use a very very you know a specific unique series called fibonacci series and fibonacci series is uh, if you add the previous two numbers you get the uh, the i know item the whatever number you are going to generate for example it starts with 1 and 1 you add both you get 2 2 plus 1 you get 3 3 plus 2 you get 5 and the series goes on and uh, we normally stop at 34 some people go to the next you know number which is 55 so but uh, i think you can you know do pretty any you know large uh, project estimates with 1 to 34 you know scale and if you observe the fibonacci series at the number at the series progress the difference between each the previous number and the current number becomes more larger and wider and uh, why we need this because it helps us discriminating the estimates very clearly if you use a linear scale of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 it becomes very difficult if someone gives a estimate of 7 another one gives 8 it becomes very difficult to this you know differentiate what is you know between 7 and 8 how clearly you know so but whereas in fibonacci uh, the series as the series progresses the difference becomes more wider that helps us differentiating the estimate very clearly and the formula we use to generate the fibonacci series is n which is the current number which is the addition of the previous two number in the series that is it is a summation of n minus 1 plus n minus 2 now just to give another example let's take someone get used to take only fruits for breakfast and here imagine on a particular day he can take two apples he can eat two apples for a breakfast now on an another day imagine i am getting oranges how many oranges i can eat now use this as a reference if you can 
eat two apples, maybe you can eat three oranges. On an another day, imagine I am getting you pineapple for breakfast. So now you use these two as a reference. Oh, you, you know, one can eat two apples on a day, three oranges on a day for breakfast. And maybe the pineapple one can eat is maybe max one. So you can say one pineapple. Now, how many bananas you can eat? On another day, I am getting you bananas. So if I have now three references, you can eat two apples, you can eat three oranges, and you can eat one pineapple. So maybe probably you can take three bananas, right? So this exercise is called relative size estimate. And how we apply in the actual project, you have all the user stories. So the team comes, they go through all the user stories in the product backlog. Whichever user story is the team agrees, which is the easiest one, you pick up the lowest number. For example, you decide, you go through all the user stories and you identify the easiest one is, you know, and assign a number of one. Now, once you give this value as a reference, now what you do is then you go through the other user stories and then you say if this user story is one story point, how difficult is this particular user story? Whether you can give two or three times difficult or five times difficult and relatively you can give an estimate. And so the way we do is we use a poker card. So once you have a reference as one, the simple easiest story, the second user story, the product owner reads out. Each team will have a deck of cards with uh, the Fibonacci series numbers. So I go through, you know, I think through and I say if this is one, how difficult is this? If it is three times difficult, I'll pick up three. If it is five times, I'll pick up five. And if it is seven times difficult, I pick up eight because there is no nothing called seven in the series. So I pick up eight. So each team pick up a card, they put it down. And once everyone has put the card, you turn the card and then note down the, you know, uh, readings and continue this process until there is a convergence. And at the end of this, you will know each uh, user story will have a point and that point uses a Fibonacci number. And remember this story point is a uniqueless measure. It doesn't talk about any time or any days. It is basically uniqueless measure. When you add all the story point, you will end up with the total size of the project. So with that, I am ending this session. So hope you guys enjoyed this session. And if you like this, please do, uh, you know, share the link to your friends and colleagues. And also, uh, if you have any specific topic in your mind, please do put that in our comment section, which we will use for our upcoming, you know, uh, topics. And also subscribe to the link below. And thank you. And we will meet you again in another short session. Take care, guys. Bye.